The second point to note is that in terms of Deputy Tibet, Speaker. Yes, Honourable Member. I want Please take the, your seat, Honourable Member. No, take I want the Honourable Member to take the mic down. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So that it doesn't hide her face, but also that it's in her <laughs> mouth properly. We want to hear because she's making important subject. Take the mic down like this. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> Honorable Ngrozi, you have a job. There are people who do that job. Don't retrench them in their presence. <laughs> Go ahead, Honorable. Deputy, Deputy Speaker. Yes, I'm wondering now whether, uh, you know, it's a requirement to take a doctor's advice uh, when it's given. <laughs> uh, proceed, Honourable Member. Thank you so much, Deputy Speaker. I think I will re-highlight the critical points that I was raising in terms of infrastructure. In, ter in this in regard, COPE is concerned that the Portfolio Committee appear not to have adequately grappled with the crisis in higher education funding in its deliberations and recommendations Honorable in Madisha, this report. I've given you seconds. You are absolutely not learning to keep to your time. Your time has expired, sir. But you didn't tell me. Had you told me, I could have. Oh, 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 oh. Every member is given time. No, no you're you, out of order, Honorable Madisha. You're out of order, sir. You could have told me, I would have. Where do you come from, honorable member? Next time you should tell me. No, I no, will. honorable member, take your seat. Next time you must read your records. <laughs> honorable member, point of order. ANC. Point of order. Yes, honorable member. Deputy Speaker, I think we must register our dissatisfaction with the patronizing way in which you are treating honorable Madisha. You can't say to an honorable member, you are not learning to keep your time. It's wrong. Honorable member. Where do you come from? Hon why do you address honorable Madisha like that? Honorable member, honorable member, take your seat. I'll Deputy tell you why. Speaker, Let me. I hope you know that it is wrong. No, you honorable. Must respect honorable Madisha. Treat him like all other members that you treat with respect. Honorable member. Why must you treat him like that? We won't be party Hon to that behavior. Honorable member. Honorable Please. member, I've heard you. Take your seat. Let me respond to you. I, honorable members, I treat everyone in this house with respect. And I believe when I advise you to keep your time, not once, not twice, not thrice, you are deliberately actually acting out of the request of the rule. So I believe I'm justified in asking him those questions because he is doing it serially and it is out of order, in my opinion. And I, I, I object to members not obeying the rules and wanting to be drilled in a manner that they expect, which we expect from everyone here. Honorable member, proceed. Thank you, De Deputy Speaker. Honorable members, there are rules here. You don't have special treatment in the House. No one has. Proceed, honorable member.